Good morning, day 11 of the Lockdown Wildlife Diaries. Today I want to talk to you about something I get asked a lot in springtime. It's a little creature that lives in roadside verges in big numbers and people have never seen them before and they want to know what they are. These are commonly known as tent caterpillars because they spin a wonderful tent in the bush. They'll be laid as eggs in numbers anywhere between 150 to 250 and they're very often on the south or the east side of the tree where it's warmest and they build these wonderful little tents that they live in they're very social caterpillars and when one goes off on a little foraging trip he will often leave a little pheromone scent so that other caterpillars know where each other are going they build this little den and they'll return to it after each foraging trip it keeps them safe from predators and they practice something called thermoregulation where it keeps them warm because it's still pretty chilly this side this time of the year and if you if you have a look I, I do my little blogs on my phone so it's quite hard to see but there's quite a few in that tree they'll be at this caterpillar stage for between six and eight weeks and they'll eventually morph into egger moths and brown tail moths so there is different tent caterpillars Here's a wonderful example of their tent. If I get a bit close, they tend to wave their head at me to say, keep back. It keeps them safe from predators in here, such as birds. So if you're on the roadside and you see these, get down and have a little look. Try and get some pictures on your phone and enjoy them. They're magnificent little things to see. Some people get them in their gardens and they don't really like that because they can, in big numbers, really destroy a tree. But rest assured, if they destroy a tree one year, they probably won't come back the next year. So if you see them, have a little look, have, get up close. Uh, definitely kids will love seeing this kind of thing. Classic, creepy, crawly kid entertainment. But try to refrain from touching them. Um, I, I just wanted to clear up at the end of this blog about the tent caterpillars that I do my little 45 minute dog walk every morning. I take my phone with me and I do a little wildlife blog. I'm not driving anywhere. I'm lucky enough to have a lot of wildlife on my doorstep and it's more than likely if you look for it, so are you.